While looking for new indie games to play, I came across the star named Eos. I thought it had a really nice art style, but what surprised me about the game was that it was made by the same devs as Behind the Frame, the finest scenery. I absolutely loved their previous game because it felt like a playable Studio Ghibli style game. The star named Eos takes the relaxing aesthetic of Behind the Frame and turns it into a unique experience with the use of its puzzles and photography. So the game tells the story of Day, a photographer whose mother was a significant part of his childhood until the day she left. She would only send photos and letters talking about her journey ever since she decided to leave. In order to find the truth behind her absence, he starts following her footsteps by searching for objects and letters that remind him of her, as well as going to the same places that she visited in the past. Just like Behind the Frame, the star named Eos has a gorgeous art style with beautifully animated cutscenes. You'll be getting all the details too, since the game gives you a 360 degree view of the place you're in. It comes in handy since the game consists of you dragging the camera around, interacting with objects, and taking photos using your camera. There was a lot of variety with the puzzles in the game, so you'll be solving things like sliding puzzles and figuring out combinations to locks. As relaxing as it was to work on them, I did get stuck trying to solve a few of the puzzles since they felt too obscure for me. Like, I don't want to say too much, but it took me forever to figure out how to solve this one puzzle that revolved around symbols and a compass. I was just glad that my partner was around while I got stuck in other parts of the game. I'd just call for help and we'd figure it out together. Apart from that, you can also freely take photos of anything, though Day's camera is mostly used for puzzles. Like one of the main things you'll be doing throughout the game is recreating the photos that Day's mom sent. When you've managed to do that, you'll move on to the next location after you've taken a picture of it. As far as the story goes, I thought it was good for its playtime, and most of it is told through the mother's letters and narration. It all seems lighthearted at first, but it doesn't take long before things get more serious. Like, the game is mostly seen through Young Day's perspective, so the events feel innocent and almost whimsical. I like that the game explores that by making Day really think about whether his memories were truly accurate, or if he was just remembering things in a certain way due to his age and lack of context on his mother's journey. That's all I have to say about that though, since I'd start to delve into spoiler territory. But yeah, the star named Eos was a decent experience. It took me around 3 hours to complete it, mostly because I got stuck trying to solve some of the puzzles. Like I bet that the game can be finished in maybe 2 hours or less? I thought that the game was okay compared to Behind the Frame, but the story got quite emotional, and it still made me tear up a little after I finished the whole thing. I just wish that it had a few more levels. I think that the story and gameplay would have benefited from being just a bit longer and more fleshed out. But if you're looking for a casual, short but sweet experience, then I recommend the star named Eos. It's out on every platform. Let me know what you thought about the video, and like and subscribe if you liked my content. Thank you to my patrons at Patreon for supporting my channel. It always feels nice to play through short, narrative-driven indie games like this. They always tell a complete story that doesn't take way too many hours to go through. But uh, anyway, back to making more content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.